പകരക്കാലം നമ്മൾ സന്തോഷമുള്ള ഹൃദയത്തോടുകൂടെ ദൈവസന്നിധിയിലായിരിക്കുന്നതിൽ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു റിജോയിസ് വി ആർ ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് വിത്ത് ഗ്ലാഡ്നസ് ഇൻ അവർ ഹോട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് യു ഷുഡ് യു ആൻഡ് ഐ ഷുഡ് ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ പ്രൈസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഇൻ ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് ഹിസ് കിങ്ഡം ദാറ്റ് മാറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് അബൌട്ട് എ പേഴ്സൺ or a project or any uh, denomination uh, that we need to uh, lift uh, in this occasion these are the times when uh, the name of the lord should be glorified even though we are standing with an organization we pray for them and we have to continue to pray for them and uh, uh, they are wonderful people out there so let us just uh, continue our prayers for our our near ones dear ones praise god and this morning praise god hallelujah there are committee meetings coming and uh, general body coming so i don't want to go into the details of the housekeeping in the church praise god but one thing i want to remind you uh, the committee had said that uh, we need to allow time for bible study for the uh, for the uh, adults those who are willing and want to teach the word of god you have time here from 10 o'clock to 10:30 uh, it was not my decision it was the church's decision and therefore Uh, it was entrusted with George and he is solely responsible for that reason so if at all anybody misunderstood that it's the pastor's responsibility no it's not if you want to share the word of god please uh, and many times george and have said he could have noticed up here in the first place but after december we were not able to keep up but come january i told you then please make sure you know we post it and then uh, we make sure people uh, share the word of god I mean, whatever God has put in our hearts, praise God, hallelujah. So, I just want to uh, clear that uh, you know, misunderstanding if you have any. If not, praise God, I mean, may the Lord bless you. This morning, let us turn to the gospel according to Mark, chapter number 9, praise God. Throughout the past month, praise God, think about this still not, but I am a steward of the church, and I am responsible for the spiritual matters of the church. Whatever happens here, praise God, I mean, hallelujah, we... have to be responsible people praise god amen and uh, you know it was prayerfully that i was uh, teaching and uh, you know expounding on the subject of faith throughout the past month i don't want that to be just dismissed uh, you know for for simple reasons uh, but i just want people to be uh, building and growing in faith that is why prayerfully i teach that and i admonish that from the word of god so that you can be equipped with the right tool so that when you go out and uh, you know people like uh, we heard this morning from jane brothers testimony that's 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 the power of faith praise god amen that's the witness of faith amen and you can do the same thing you know you don't really in fact i was thinking probably i don't believe in jane and knew that his pain had gone hallelujah and somebody else noted that his pain is gone amen so when we worship god definitely god will begin to move in our life and there will be drastic changes in our life that others are going to see that and they are going to glorify god amen that's how we build up the church that's how we bring people into the church okay uh, the other day i was uh, i went to a prayer meeting of another church and uh, this young man he was coming and uh, praying with me several times and uh, one thing i told him in advance i will help him in any ways if he wants but i don't want any conflict uh, you know for that same reason i can pray with him but i didn't want that conflict with the church because the reason i say that is historically if you learn the statistics of the churches in overall the christian churches you will see that 89% of the churches uh, you know are not growing uh, in 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 the way that god desires it to grow 89% of this this is statistically proven uh, it grows by playing the uh, musical chair okay so people sing uh, you know what i meant by that musical chair kalikina pole ingena mattathe karangi nadakku evade oliju cheyarundo avade aalkar poi irikkum angane Uh, from one church to another people just keep going 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 okay that's how most of the churches 
uh, you know, fulfill their numbers. And then there are 18 percent of uh, 18 or 19 percent, uh, you know, uh, churches that have a biological growth. Okay, which means children raised in that uh, one church, uh, you know, get married and then uh, you know they multiply in that sense. A biological growth. Okay, that is a short growth. All right, and then. There's only one or two percent of the churches that really grow, that bring really souls, new, new souls into the kingdom of God. Amen. There's only one or two percent. Praise God. Amen. And uh, I was really encouraged last week at three o'clock we had a baptism and uh, I want to appreciate Robin's dad and him for doing that great work. There were nine Nepalis. They were mostly Hindus who came, uh, he used this church for baptism and they were baptized in this baptistry. You know what, if for nothing else, God had just a purpose to bring some people from outside to get this place, you know, baptized, amen. See, that's what God has a plan for. You should remember that. God doesn't do anything in vain. He doesn't build anything for vain reasons, uh, you know, but he builds for a purpose. And now when we, we should think that if he could do that, amen, we have greater, you know, facilities like uh, Shamil Jain said this morning. We have this beautiful church, the sanctuary. There are so many things that we can do. Yet, if we try, if we put our heart into that, we can do it. I was talking to some young people the other day. They came over here. They said to me, and we prayed over this place. Children of God, we have to be people of prayer who seek the face of God, who seek the will of God. And only then and only then God can move for us. Amen. Amen. And I encourage the, and I want to encourage our young people. It's a come this uh, you know, March. You know, God has spoken to me that God is going to move. God is going to bring slowly, God is going to bring source into the church. I mean, it is time for us, for people to walk into this church. Praise God. Amen. So we have to understand uh, that God is already on the move. So we cannot sit back and wait and relax and, uh, you know, play the church and say, you know, uh, to make sure the bells and the whistles function properly, the things of the church, the tradition of the church is being managed well. No, that's not the reason. We have another responsibility in bringing souls into the kingdom of God. And you and I will have to strive. To enter that uh, realm of the Holy Ghost where God will want to move in the lives of the people to bring them into the fold. Amen. Come March, I said, you know, because of the daylight saving, now it gets dark very soon. By 5.30 it gets dark. But by March, and you have to pray and prepare yourself for that reason, for, uh, you know, making yourself available on Saturdays from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock. If, if I can get a few people... I'm not saying everyone. Some of you might have a job. Some of you might have other responsibilities. Some of you have your families to take care. Some of you have little children to take care. But there are people who can dedicate, devote some time or a part of their time to come down here to go to these homes. Praise God. What did Jesus say? Go into all nations. But we are saying come into our church. That will never work, children of God. Hallelujah. It is against the will of God. Therefore, people will not just walk into your church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The people of God will have to be touched and moved by the power of the Holy Ghost. And what happens when the power of the Holy Ghost comes, praise God, we will be more obedient to the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The pastors are not the dictators of the church. Pastors are not the people, revivalists of the church. Praise God. We are just tools. We are just instruments in the hands of God that can bring the revival. Praise God. Hallelujah. But if the people of God are not revived, 
Hallelujah, glory to God. We can say everything that the word has said about it. We can preach about it. We can publish about it. But this morning, nothing will happen unless and until God's Holy Spirit will begin to move in our hearts. Praise God, hallelujah. First of all, to come down to the presence of God. Seek His face uh, in obedience to the will of God. And cry out to Him, praise God, amen. So that a revival can burst in this nation. Hallelujah. I happened to hear some of the servants of the Church of God Convention and uh, a live program there and it's amazing how uh, we can be in all of these great conventions in India while we are still here. I happened to hear uh, Pastor Aaron Gulam Samkuti. I don't know how many of you heard that. Yes. Some of you heard that, praise God, amen. Powerful message. Powerful message. If you haven't, I think uh, Jan Engel will post it in his tube. So, uh, in the YouTube, praise God, amen. You should listen to that man of God. Hallelujah. Revival just doesn't come like that. There were some people who sacrificially left everything. He was reading about Robert F. Cook. And while he was reading that book, my eyes was I was crying in tears. I was crying in tears. Praise God. Because, you know, church growth doesn't just happen because somebody else had everything organized. It is all good. But at the same time, the church will have to flourish and increase and multiply. Praise God. Amen. The seed that I sow, the seed, the word of God which is sown in your hearts should begin to, hallelujah, germinate in your hearts. Hallelujah. It should have, it should take roots. And then it should spring forth and shoot forth. And uh, people will see that there is something different in you this morning. Hallelujah. Let us pray. This coming now, February, one month is almost past. Hallelujah. This is the second, we are stepping into the second month next week. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us not waste our time. Let us not be foolish. Praise God. Let us be wise. Understanding the time. Praise God. Amen. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Uh, speaking in the truth and love. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us admonish and exhort uh, and love one another. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us turn to the book of Mark, chapter number 9, verse number 23. Praise God. Hallelujah. Chapter number 9, verse number 23 of Mark. And Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And uh, John chapter 14, verse number 12. Please post it up there, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you believe, if you can believe, tell yourself, if I can believe, say, if I can believe. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. If I can believe, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the word of God, it says, Manishana la sadhya maida. Devata sadhya maida. Praise the Lord. It is impossible with man, but with God, it is possible. I'm going to release the word of God this morning. And if you listen very carefully, you will understand uh, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to, uh, you know, invest into your life this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, what I said was, God is telling, With man, it is impossible, but with God, it is possible. So there we see a weakness on the part of man. Manishana Ulla Belihina Yana Asadhira in all of them. Praise the Lord. Impossibilities are not possibilities are not part of human race. It was at one time, but when Adam sinned, praise the Lord, the dominion, the power, the authority that God had rested upon human. Praise God. On mankind. Manishan and Nikshipta Mayana Adi Garate. Hali Wadi Wan and Adi Garate. Pishadi Tatra Mura Manidu. 
എടുത്തുകളഞ്ഞു he deceived a man and because of the deception man lost his power and authority to speak and then it will be done some sarija angane thanne example god brought all the animals before adam vigangale ella maalaande munnil kodu adam called them by name adam adine ella peru jolli vilichu even today that name is the same aa vilicha peru thanneya innum vilikina aane aane ennu vilichal innum aane thanneya if he named the elephant an elephant it is still an elephant yes praise god aarellam endellam thakku nenum parannu vaanjal no matter who ever can come and say biologically amen you can say there are so many things that has happened but whatever adam has named it still remains the same amen praise god hallelujah adu peru vilichu parane paul praise god glory to god hallelujah we should understand how is the power that god has given man manushane kodutirikkina adhigarathiya avadu namakku kaanunnathu praise god hallelujah but that authority that power can be restored has been restored through jesus christ യേശുവിൽ കൂടെ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ലഭിച്ചു നഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു പോയ ആ അധികാരത്ത് ദൈവം നമുക്ക് തിരിച്ചു തരികയാവശ്യമായിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് ഇന്ന് പകൽ കാലം ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ജനമേ പ്രൈസ് ഇന്ന് പകൽ കാലം ഗൗരിച്ചുകാർ വിശ്വാസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തലമുറകൾ കൈമാറി പിതാക്കന്മാർ കൈമാറി തന്ന വിശ്വാസമല്ല പ്രമാണം വിശ്വാസ പ്രമാണം എന്ന് പറയുന്നതല്ല വിശ്വാസം വിശ്വാസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നാൽ പറഞ്ഞൊരു വസ്തു ആണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുമോ ഞാൻ ഇതിനെ കുറിച്ച് കൂടുതലായിട്ട് പഠിച്ചപ്പോൾ I understood one thing praise God hallelujah faith is a substance of the unseen hallelujah hallelujah faith is the substance, substance of the things unseen hebrews 11:1 and 7 praise the lord hallelujah vishwasam enno aashikkunnende praise the lord it is the substance of the things hoped for praise the lord so there is substance in the varnal what substance really really means there is praise it is the sap just like blood in your life ningalde jeevathil rakam ningalde sharirathe jeevan nilanirthunnathu pol like the blood that sustains your body you praise god amen faith is the substance satya essence you understand praise god hallelujah karikkathu nammala masala cherthu adine ruchi ulladaakki thirukkunnathu endanu meen curry ennu parnjal meen mathram ullathond kariyagunnilla enal meen curry ye meen curry aakunnathu endanu adu cherkkunna ingredients aanu Amen. The ingredients that you mix with your curry is what makes that curry different. Makes it taste you. And the blood in your life is what makes you alive. I mean, I'm a girl. In the Pagal Kalam, when you call yourself a believer, the first thing, the first and the foremost substance that was deposited in your life is faith. നമ്മളിലേക്ക് ദൈവം പകരുന്നത് എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ വിശ്വാസമാണ് 
and faith according to the first uh, 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 Peter, praise God, amen. Glory to God. Let's go to the word of God. Uh, in first Peter chapter number one, praise God, hallelujah. But I just want you to understand this truth this morning, praise God, hallelujah. Uh, amen. Verse number 23 of uh, First Peter. 1 verse 23, being not born, being born again, not of the corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth forever, praise God, hallelujah. Devatinde Vajanatal Nam in the Yadrikinu Vindum Jenanam Pramichirikinu. Now if you read Romans chapter 10, verse number 17, it says, Praise God, Hallelujah. Now faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Vishwasam Kelvia Virnu. Kelvi Deva Vajanam. Praise God. See Deva Vajanam. Praise God, I mean, they would think they would have in a vaginum. Number the woodil Kriya Chikanam in Gil, praise God, hallelujah. In the Baikalama, the Vishwasa told with a late Chedikanam. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Pudin even till, praise God, when the New Testament writers began to write about faith, there were not too many people who they could show as an example of faith keepers, of people who live by faith. Therefore, in uh, Hebrews chapter number 11, the word of God gives you a whole list of witnesses of these, a cloud of witnesses who by faith in their generation, in times old, when Jesus Christ was not yet manifest, Christu Janathil Avadarikilani Munnadane, Hallelujah, Avadar Vishwasatal, they were their prasadi pichu. By faith, they pleased God. They were their prasadi pichu. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is faith. Hallelujah. If you do anything in faith, praise God, hallelujah, God will be pleased. You might not see nothing. You might not see, uh, you know, you might, you might not, not, not even fathom. You might not even understand. Sometimes you might, the circumstance will be so worse that you think, uh, why should I do this? Praise God, amen. There might be many things that can create, bring doubts in your life. But this morning, glory to God, step out in faith. Amen, hallelujah. And God is going to move for you. Praise the Lord. Vishwasatthal, you are a child. Vishwasatthal, you are a child. You are a child. You are a child. You are a child. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And God is going to move in their hearts. But first of all, we need to build our faith. We need to grow in faith. And I said this before. Your, great, your faith is like that seed of the grain of that mustard seed. It is deposited in a measure, praise God, hallelujah. But you can make sure, praise God, hallelujah, the faith that has been given to you, the measure of faith doesn't just Fade away in your life, praise God. Vishwasam namal shirdi chupoga. Adi illa de pogo anat. Ani bodi kya ad? Yenil de imantam deri ke na vishwasam. The wala deuwan, wala deuwan. Yenil vishwasam madhi ke madhi ke mai wardi chuve deuwan. That faith will begin to grow. Faith will begin to mature. Faith will begin to increase. And when faith, praise God, hallelujah. When that faith increases, hallelujah. Glory to God. God is going to give you so much potential that when you pray for somebody, hallelujah, you will believe that they will be healed and when you pray for them they will be touched up they'll be healed when you share the word of God with somebody God is going to move on your behalf and by faith God is going to restore them and deliver them praise God hallelujah you go through the Bible everything people of God did was not because their circumstances was uh, hallelujah in favor praise God praise God even when they were facing adverse situation praise God hallelujah because of that great boldness they had in Christ and because of the love of God hallelujah because they were rooted in the word of God Vajanathil veru nidu unde praise God hallelujah avar kasadhi maat ondu villa there was nothing impossible anginangil praise God today that same kind of faith is operating for you and I praise God vishwasathinne maatam vandittilla vishwasathinne gedi vedathal aacharanam vandittilla because of the time 
Praise the Lord. There is no change in faith. Whatever was sown by faith in the time of Jesus Christ is that same faith, the same seed. When you prepare your hearts for the word of God by faith to work in your life, amen. God will begin to move in your life. Praise God, hallelujah. So the word, faith comes by hearing. Amen. In the Old Testament, the hearing was a direct voice of the Lord. Praise God, Amen. And there is another element to that, praise God, Hallelujah. Every time God speaks, sir, are we obedient to that? They will some sarikum more. Praise God. Today you don't need God to speak to you. The word of God has been written for you so that when it is being preached, when you hear the word of God. From your part, what is God expecting? What God is expecting is simple obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't have to be Billy Graham. You don't have to be Benny Hinn. You don't have to be a great preacher. You don't have to be eloquent. But a simple faith can take you a long way to see that the work of God will be manifested through your life. But you should believe that. You should believe that. This morning you should believe. God has not deposited his word in my life in vain. Amen. The word in my heart, the word that has been sown in my heart is not, is, is not a mortal corruptible seed, but it is an incorruptible seed. Nashichapodala. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the Pagal Kalam, they won't stab each other. They won't in the Pagal Kalam, Pagal Nodane. Whatever God has poured will never fade away. Hallelujah. They won't with each other. They won't hide each other. They don't stop each other. In the Bagan Kalam, Mahana Pocket, the Agasha Mummy, Mari Pogum. The heaven and earth shall pass away. But not a jot, not a tittle of this world. But the Cheria Walling Ilum, Pulling Ilum, Mata Meritilla. In the Bagan Kalam, Mata Milata, Miss Tulumarikina, the infallible. Uncorruptible word in the Pagan Kalan number three, the Lake Deva Pagan board. Ah, they were shut and get to the praise of Lord. Hallelujah. They were the Anisarik in the honor in the Bagan Kalan Ningle. Follow Nalgan to the praise of it is through obedience that you will see the fruit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't in the Pagan Kalan, they are sending the number of Kanan. Namaka Deva told the fact. In a good day, the Nalgo, I can build to know what in the end of March of the end of the March of the Sahai. The boy Kalami Shuas and Namil of the Marta Chivarita. Kata Parena, the Ivata, the Lam, Sadim and the Parim. When he says, With God, all things are possible. And when we read, I didn't, I didn't uh, preach from that text, praise God, in John chapter 14, verse number 12. Praise God. If you believe, praise God, you will do greater things than that I did. In the Paranayal, Ningu Bishusik and Kadinyal, in the Balkalinyan, Chaitanya Madigan, Ningu Chayim and the Paranayal, in the Bagalkal and Karta Parayanda, when you commit yourself, when you consecrate yourself, when you put your faith in me and you believe and you put your trust not in the riches, praise God, like I said yesterday, hallelujah, but today morning I am reminding you, children of God, if you put your trust in the Lord and look to the faith of God, hallelujah, glory to God, amen, hallelujah, in the Bagel Khan, God is going to do my teachings. I said yesterday, I am going to know you, Prakash, hallelujah, yes, when I was thinking about it yesterday night, I said, when there's only one position. Think about it. Think about it. If your really looking up, you cannot see nothing below. If you're really looking up. But we don't really look up. We want to have both of them. 
If you are really looking at him, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you will not be put to shame. But if you start looking into other things of this world, world in them, world in them, between the word and the word, there's only one thing, the yell, the lust. Praise the Lord. For the pleasure of your life, the lust of your life, this morning, you don't want to sacrifice the word of God. Hallelujah. I already see that in the spirit. But the enemy is working very hard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God speaks directly. Then God speaks through His Word. Praise God. Hallelujah. God speaks through His prophets. God speaks, praise God. Hallelujah. Through dreams and visions. Some people don't have time to listen to the Word of God. And God says in the book of uh, Job, chapter 33, verse 14 and 15, you go home and read that praise God, hallelujah. God spoke twice, but man did not hear. So God, when people were asleep, He gave them dreams and visions, and in the middle of the watch of the night, He instructed them. Give your heart to the Lord so that the word of God can begin to work in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Let's all stand in the presence of God. For the past month, this first month of this year, we heard different sides of the faith that we need to develop in our lives. But this coming month, praise God, hallelujah. Let us pray that God will allow us to go and sow this seed of faith and invest that in the lives of other people. Other than in the world, God, I mean, some more people. I commit myself. I commit the people of God this morning. Father, we honor you. We bless you. We thank you for your word. For the everlasting, infallible word which is written in heaven. Father, this morning we receive your word because we know that there are many impossibilities as humans. But with your power, when we believe in you, oh Father, your word says that everything is possible for them that believe. And this morning, we declare and decree that, praise God, amen. Everything that might be an impossible situation in the life of your people, this morning, your oh Father, give them the faith to believe in you, oh God, hallelujah. So that God can begin to work in their favor and believing in you, oh God, many, many people, oh God, hallelujah, will come to the understanding of your son, Jesus Christ, this morning. We come in ourselves one more time. Send us with a blessing, O oh God. May your grace go with us, O oh God. May your presence dwell with us, O oh God. Wherever we are, I pray, O oh God, that you will abide with us, O oh God, that we will never be unfaithful to you, O oh man. So this morning, I bless your people, O oh God. Keep them and protect them from sickness, danger, harms. Amen. Wherever they go, Father, I pray that you are covering the blood be upon them of God. Sprinkle that by faith in the name of Jesus this morning. Bring them back, O God. Hallelujah. Not only Sundays, O God, but Wednesdays and Saturdays, O God. Hallelujah. Even other days, O God. Hallelujah. That they can come and uh, hallelujah. Amen. Fill this place with their tears, O God. Hallelujah. That they will be counted worthy, O God. When you come uh, uh, with your saints in heaven, O Father, this morning, we thank you once again. Glory to God. Thank you for hearing your prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our Heavenly Father, the communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us and with all the saints, now and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.